Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And, and we, we are, are Para DJ. DJ. And we are here with our wrap up for the grand celebration. Now it was only a two day cruise, so <laughs> we'll see how many words we have to say, but it was one of the more interesting experiences from our Mega VK 2020. I enjoyed it. I did too. Yeah. So backstory in case you didn't catch it, uh, the ship used to be the Carnival Celebration or it was mm -hmm. just called the MS Celebration and sailed for Carnival in like the 80s and 90s and who knows until for a when. While, yeah. Sold to Costa for a little while, probably some other history in there and then ended up now with Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Mm -hmm. So it was a very retro feel. We were excited to pick up a Carnival ship that yeah. we did not get to sail. Had an orange whale tail. It was so orange weird. Orange whale tail. <laughs> but overall, I guess let's just do, we can't really, I mean, we can do impressions of Freeport, but let's just focus on the ship and the cruise line itself, I think, because we've yeah. been to Freeport a hundred bajillion times. Mm -hmm. So the ship itself is small. It's small. It's cozy. But it's laid out well. It is. And the lounges are nice and large, I like the older, like the old school ships. It's definitely a retro feel though, for sure. Yeah, but you feel like you have seating everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's enough seating to where things don't feel crowded. Of course, the ship hardly ever sails full. Right, because it's every <laughs> it's two days it's too. full. Or it yeah. sails. Rarely does that one sail full. Yeah. But yeah, very old school retro feeling. You come into like the one level lobby, <laughs> that you know, lobby is teeny tiny. the chandelier, <laughs> and you, you know, you're not getting the grand atrium. No, no that don't that expect stuff. that. So it feels like you're cruising in the 80s. It really does. <laughs> uh, very international audience and yeah. things are geared, like the shows and things are geared toward the international mm -hmm. audience, but we enjoyed them. A lot I of, like different things. What, like strength that. acts and all yeah. that stuff in the shows. Circus themes. And, yeah. And they have like Latin singers and dancers. And, and yeah, they, they know their audience and they do a good job catering to everyone. Mm. So. True. Um, I guess let's jump to one of my favorite um, categories, which is food. Yes. Uh, now, of, of, of course, we, we say again, we had just come off the Mariner of the Seas where the food was good, but it didn't really have that flavor, that It was just missing the season. It was seasoned. And we got on this ship and almost everything I tasted, <clears throat> excuse me, was good. I think the only thing we found that you didn't really like breakfast was buffet. the, was it eggs, the breakfast buffet? It was just the breakfast buffet in general, is it? Eh. But okay. otherwise, it was good. Yeah, true. The dining room food was great. Mm -hmm. We had the specialty breakfast that one morning, that was which good. was great. Uh, everything that we ate on the Luna deck was <laughs> pretty much fantastic. The barbecue was good. Oh, that's The grill right. was really good. Yeah. yeah. And they had a lot of different varieties of food. You would see Indian food. They had Mediterranean mm -hmm. snacks one night, all sorts of different cool things. Yeah, they did a food. lot with food in the small amount of time that you're on there. <laughs> yeah, true. One of the things that I did notice is, well, let's go through um, the cruise director, uh, yep. Victoria. She was kind of one of those old school cruise directors. Yeah, she, she was, was fun, but it was the very much, you know, professional mm -hmm. sort of the three piece suit kind of, or, you know, the business suit kind of a thing. Old school, like an 80s cruise director yeah. in my mind. Because when, well, we started cruising in 2005. We never cruised in the 80s. That's true. <laughs> that and uh, I was too little. We had those sort of businessman cruise directors. And actually, she reminded me a lot of Risa Barnes. Have mm -hmm. you ever sailed out of Charleston on the Fantasy with Risa? We a lot Risa. like Risa. Yeah. Uh, but still a lot of fun. Uh, now, one of the things that you do notice when you go around that ship is there are a, quite a few upcharge options. Yeah. Like the comedy show you had to buy tickets for. Correct. It was there $9 was, for yeah. a performance. One comedy show yeah. that you would pay for. The pizza place mm -hmm. was pay. A they had a gourmet hamburger place mm -hmm. that was pay. So, you know, you're getting lots of little options to buy, uh, you know, to upgrade. And, you know, when you get on the ship, you have to walk past all the tables where you can buy the drink packages and buy the, all of the little uh, extras. But yeah. they weren't high pressure about much of any no, of it. Not at all. No, but I did. It's funny. Like every time you would go to a show, the cruise director would be like, hey, I've got a friend who wants to come say hey to you. And the comedian would come up and she would pitch her show. Hey. And then she would leave and then they would start the regular show. You know, you got to drum up your advertise. business. Though. That's, That's good. right. It wasn't annoying though. No, yeah, true. No. Um, so other, let's see, any other categories or words that we want to talk about? I know it's a short little wrap up, <laughs> but it was a short little ship and a short little cruise. I just thought it was cool, uh, the retro vibe. And when we get to our MSC series coming up, it's fun to see how similar this style of cruising yeah. was. MSC also felt very retro to me, but shh, we're jumping ahead of <laughs> ourselves. So yeah, any other categories? We covered food, we kind of covered entertainment, entertainment. cruise director, um, activities. Most of your activities were going to be things like live music. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of sitting around listening to live music. They had one trivia. Mm -hmm. They did games. They did like they did. beer pong, but it wasn't. It was just a ping right. pong thing. They did a dance kind of thing, like a welcome aboard party. Yeah, they were good at sail outside. away parties. Every day they have a sail away party because <laughs> yeah. they're either sailing away from West Palm or Freeport. That's Every right. day is a sail away party. So they did good with that. I really enjoyed the, like the extra, the grill or the... 
the cookout thing. Oh yeah, the smokehouse that smokehouse. we went to, the smokehouse lunch. Yeah, that yeah. was really Worked different hard. and good. It really was. Not food related, but it was. And that was free. That was free. Yeah, the yeah. only upcharge food that I know of was the pizza, the br the breakfast that we did, we won. Yeah, the burgers. And the burgers. Like, and then there's a steakhouse, yeah. which you could order off oh, the steakhouse menu right. in the main dining room because they were remodeling the steakhouse area or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but they do have free burgers for lunch. Burgers are not always paid, just good. to clarify. The hot dogs but are really good. The dinner burgers, they turned it into a pay joint. Yeah. That might be, else. yeah, see what we can think of. This might be about it for our wrap up mm -hmm. of Grand Celebration. It was a lot of fun and I would do it again. I'm curious to check out the other, which is the Grand Classica, the old Costa Classica. The room was really large for a two day cruise. Oh, and the shower. Holy moly. Yeah, you love the shower. The shower was the biggest one of the whole thing, I think. Yeah, I, all February. I enjoyed the whole retro vibe of it all and I really liked the lounges that were large. I know. We're a sucker for big lounges. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> you just spread out and feel like there's a lot of seating. You're not crammed in. Oh, they had the room. coffee shop and desserts and stuff. That was Oh yeah, there were well. two coffee shops, mm -hmm. that's right. Oh, cookies. They had cookies at embarkation mm. and when that you got back on the ship. I don't know. I yeah. just thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> it's the little things, you know, free cookies when you come back on after a day in Freeport yeah. or when you're waiting to board the ship for the first day. That I is, thought that was fun. That is fun. <laughs> But I guess that might be about it unless we think, I, I think that's it. We showed off everything yep. that we could show. One video was almost like a, a ship tour video. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, because we wanted to explore everything and we only yeah. had two days. I was most excited when we got on the ship. There wasn't a lot going on. I wanted to just explore because it was fascinating to me. Yeah. But I guess that's probably it for our Grand Celebration series. So a lot of fun. We would definitely do it again. I'd try the other ship. Yeah, just the classic. Just because then you can have both. Yeah, if you have any questions on anything, if you're thinking about doing it and we can help you out, just comment below and we'll be certain to help if we're we know so the helpful. answer. <laughs> and if we don't, we'll make it up. Yeah, yeah, we're good at so, that. <laughs> so I guess that's it for our wrap up. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on.